Hi, Vanessa DeBerlay here. Welcome. This is where you can turn your passions into profit. And today we're going to talk about five things that you must do when you set up your channel. Many people will set up their YouTube channel. They're not aware of some hidden features that will help them be have more exposure on their channel. So let's go ahead and dig in and I'll show those to you right now. Most likely when you went to your YouTube channel, you had set up your channel art. Most people spend a lot of time on that when they first get their channel. They just think that that is like one of the most important things. I was guilty of that. I spent agonizing hours over that and still am not happy with it. But one of the, some of the hidden things on the channel customization page are under the branding area. And a lot of people don't realize that. that many of you are aware of the layout, which a lot of this isn't applicable if you're brand new, setting up playlists and all this stuff because you don't really have a lot to set up. So most people, and what you should, is just leave this playlist area alone for now and just let your uploads come through. What I want you to do now is select your customized channel icon right here. And then I want you to look over here where it says branding. Make sure you have a picture here that represents your channel. It can be a logo, it can be a picture of yourself. You've already probably done your channel art from the other page, but right below that, it, you can put a little watermark on your video, and a lot of people aren't aware of that. I actually just made a video detailed telling you how to come up with a picture, everything, how to make it in Canva and then upload it into your YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out and I go step by step, really easy to do. Once you do it and it's fun, you can change it out all you want. Now, where a lot of people forget to go is over to the settings. And if you look on the left hand side, there's a little button down here where there's a little wheel, a gear wheel under settings. When you get in there, you can see here where it says general, but what I want you to go under is channel. It's really important for you to get more exposure to your videos if you have keywords on your channel and you can put them here and then they're gonna show up on your channel. A lot of people spend a lot of time coming up with keywords just for their video and don't realize how important it is to have keywords that are applicable to your channel. A lot of times when there's searches, the algorithms are gonna pick up your channel. If your channel keeps getting picked up for certain keywords, then it's gonna draw an audience to your channel. So everything needs to be synchronized and work together, but really put some thought into the keywords that you have on your channel. Now, if you have other channels out there that are like yours, you are welcome to go look and see what other people are using, but try really hard not to copy somebody else's keywords because that will come up in the search as well. Now, another thing that will save you a heck of a lot of time, putting in a description that's uploaded by default. Now, what I don't advise that you do is to put a title in because obviously every single one of your videos are different. They're not the same title. So don't put a title in because what'll happen is you're gonna have to go in and change that every time. What I do is I write description here and then from there, I have my default description. Um, so it's it's got maybe some suggested videos, there's um, some suggested equipment, some tools that I use. Um, it also has, there's my recommended tools, it has all of my social media platforms, and then at the bottom is my disclaimer. You wanna make sure if you are getting involved with affiliate marketing or promoting products for Amazon, things like that, then you want to make sure you have a disclaimer at the bottom. After that, I do one hashtag with my name and then I always add two more when I upload the video. But the nice thing about this is it's done and you can, you can upload, you can update it anytime. You can say, Hey, I, you know, got some things I want to change and then change it in here. And all those future videos are changed. Now I keep my videos listed as unlisted so that as soon as I upload them, they're unlisted right away because I tend to upload my videos ahead of time. If you're doing them live every time you upload and you're not scheduling them, then you can change this to private or public. Like I said, I like to keep it as unlisted. So to reiterate, the five things that you wanna make sure you have done is make sure you go into your channel customization, make sure you have your picture, your channel art, and your water brand down here finished, or your watermark, and then go to your settings and make sure you have your default description uploaded and your channel keywords. Those are very important. A lot of times they're missed. 
get them done. All five of those are really important to make sure you have them complete on your channel so that you'll get more exposure. And if you want to find out how to turn your passions into profit, make sure you check out my link below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.